Alright, so I'm back on camera again, and today I just wanted to flick through some things I've bought on Discogs in the last month or so. I had a little bit of a hole, I ended up buying like 15, 20 records, and a lot of the stuff isn't online, and a lot of the stuff is like bargain bin records. And I thought, you know, sharing is caring, and the whole point of this channel was to share music. So I thought I'd just flick through some of the stuff that I've got, why I bought it, why I'm listening to it, etc, etc, etc. Before I start the video, I have got a few things that I need to plug, and let me just get this list together in my head because I've got quite a few bits to go through. Firstly, Scuffed. We've had release three now, that was 95 Bones with the Attic Gravelly EP. Did pretty well, got some good support. We had Belly Can Dance on Mix Mag and another tune called Coyote. Got posted in Best New Music and Resident Advisor. Had a lot of purchases, had a lot of support for that. So big ups. We are on release number four and that's gonna be announced in the next few days, hopefully. Secondly, our next Midnight Shift party has finally been announced. We were supposed to have one in January, but we had a few venue issues, so we never went through with that one. May the 11th, which is actually six days after my birthday, five days after my birthday, um, we've got our next party, same venue, Crofters Rights. And for this one, Bring It Down Ludes to headline. We've got Hippo playing some live jazz before, and we've also got Paloma DJing too. Me and the residents will also be about on the ones and twos, hopefully. So if you can make it down to that, if you're in Bristol, come through. Yeah, hopefully we'll see a few familiar faces there. Did an interview with 44 Mag the other day, me, Musculus, and Sav, talking about YouTube, and label, and everything else. But it's quite an interesting read, I got asked some good questions out to 44 and the crew. Thanks for inviting me over. And yeah, I think that's it for plugs right now. So let's get into this pile of records. Just as a heads up, some of these aren't amazing. So I might not even talk about it. I might just be like, boom, this is good, this is bad. I'll try and get through maybe like five in detail because there's quite a few that I really like on there. Some of them, I've got a little bit of digger's remorse. Oh, actually, almost forgot the uh, DPM slip mats. These are finally been made. People keep asking me about t-shirts. They are probably coming in the next month or so, hopefully. Still trying to plan that out. All right then, on to the records then. First in the pile we have got Casanova's Revenge by Charlie Casanova. And the logic behind buying this record was, I don't know, I've kind of been on the whole hip house vibe at the moment. A lot more bouncy, bouncy bass, jacking drums. I think it's a bit more exciting. I'm getting quite bored of like rolling deep house because it can start to sound like the same vibe like, the whole way through a set. So I quite like to keep things bouncy. This one, it's quite good. There's a track on here called I Can't Take It, which is a very good example of hip house. There's a little bit of acid in there. Quite playful, quite fun. And yeah, I can see it fitting into my set. You can tell it's kind of b-boy inspired though. There's a lot of like scratching and cutting and like choppy effects. So I think it's like a peak time record. You can't really fade in and out. Like, can't do long mixes of this record. It's more like boom. Whack it in, jim, 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 jam to it, boom, next track. But it's quite interesting. There's also a full on B Boy record on here. The last one's called The Dope Jam. And yeah, that's literally just hip hop. So you can tell it was definitely created by someone that's kind of in the uh, in the B Boy hip hop sort of scene. But it's a good record nonetheless, and I think it will work in my sets. We're staying on the hip house vibe with the next one. This one is called. What is it called? It's called Ah oh Yeah by um, Pick4 and this one is by a, uh, a group of New York producers and I bought this on the same sort of tip I was looking for like hip house stuff but this one's a bit more, well very much more b-boy aimed I think personally I'm not sure if people break down to house music but if they did it probably be to stuff like this. It's quite simple, like four bar loops, there's not really much progression in the tracks. So, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this in rotation. But I mean, there's some nice grooves and stuff in there. The last track on here, Casa Latino, it's like Latin house, really nice flowing percussion. Like I said, the like four bar loops on the bass and stuff, they're very simple. So, 
it doesn't really have that sort of groove for me, but I think maybe the last track I'll play every now and then. Anyway, we continue. I think I've got another hip house record here somewhere. Where is it? This one here. Alright, they've given me like a Pi Records sleeve. It's not on Pi Records, it's on a rep label called Smoking Records, and this is called Do What You Want slash Acid 1990. This is by Omar Santana. This is his first release, and I think after this he went a lot more hardcore. He makes like hardcore gabber and like breakbeat techno and stuff. So this was quite a rare adventure for him into the lighter stuff. But this, once again, hip house. Piano House, Acid all combined. The B side of this, Acid 1990, I think I posted it up on Facebook or in the group somewhere. But it is fantastic, like pure jam. The vocal isn't bad, it's like there's like rapping vocals over it. They aren't cheesy or annoying. Really good 303 acid line in there. A little bit of piano like the cheesy like 90s house sort of aspect is kind of kind of what I'm into at the moment and I'm yeah, this fits it perfectly, this kind of works. It works with like a modern set. Like I listen to a lot of Cornell Kovacs' sets and he plays some quite cheesy stuff. Quite, well not cheesy, but things that people would call cheesy. But I think they're fun, I think they're playful. And I think, yeah, old 90s records like this are definitely the way to go. Anyway, continuing on the cheesy record theme, we've got this one by uh, Dada Nada. It's called Haunted House. This came out on a label called Voice Records. One Voice Records. One Voice Records. Yeah, it's like it's a 1989 house record, basically. The guy that produced it, Dad and Ada, used to be on um, some like cheesy new wave synth pop group, and all their productions are a bit like a bit like Wham with more synths, so not amazing. Came upon this record, just searching hip house again. This doesn't fit into hip house as much as these other, t other few records have. There's only like a little bit of rapping on there. There's a very, very cheesy vocal on both sides. With the A side especially, which is called the Black Acid OD Mix of Haunted House. It's just sick, like there's one little cheesy vocal that comes in and then it's a real cool rock acid line that kind of gets layered and there's a little bit of piano on there. Once again, it's like simple and effective, like you don't really need to overproduce if you get a good good amount of instrumentation and synths on a record. And the black acid mix of this shows that. There's a garage garage mix as well, which is a little bit more smooth. Like, you know, it's quite bouncy as garage house would be. It's also pretty sick. But yeah, I think the acid mix on this side is absolutely sick. And it's good enough that you can ignore the horrifically cheesy vocals because the vocals are very 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 cheesy but I think you can get away with it. What have we got next? A diva. Treat me right. Um, it's just like a you know a house remix of a pop song basically there's not really much to it but like once again it's fun it's enjoyable my favourite mix on this is the Big Jam mix, which is the one that sounds more like the original. It's basically the same, just kind of reworked with like a Korg M1 bass line instead. They put some sax on there. And yeah, it's a really cool chord progression. It's quite euphoric, nice sing along vocals. Can't go wrong, really. I think people try and have fun in their sets, but they try and do it ironically. But it's good to have like cheese and stuff like that. Continuing with the cheese, we've got a. Uh, the Monster Tribe with Makumba. This one's very, very playful, very jacked drums, you know, a little, little simple bass line on there. I'm talking about the title track, Makumba. Little bass line on there. And yeah, it's just like a lot of weird little percussion bits in there, which is what I like. I like things that, I don't like a clean, smooth beat. I like a jack beat, because you kind of, you can find pockets of groove like elsewhere that aren't so obvious. Has quite a quite a funny sample in there. It's like a guy just chiming like Makumba, Makumba. There's a few mixes. We've got the club mix. We've got a monster mix, which has got like extra like, harpsichord and like it's got a um, what's it called? A saxophone. It's got a saxophone line in there as well. And then we've got the other side, which has got Calypso Monster, which is kind of like a tallow housey, you know, 
nice smooth organ pads and stuff. And there's another track called Follow the Freaks. And haven't listened to that one much, I'm not gonna lie, because it was skipping. But I've cleaned the record now, so I'll probably listen back again and kind of probably rip it on the channel, I think. We were talking about Italo House. This one here. It's called Baby Listen by a duo called Axel D. Was it a trio? I don't know. But um, this is like a an Italian house record. It's one track, there's four mixes on there. The best mix for me personally is one that's called Motion Journey. It's like it's Hello House but it's a little bit dreamier. It's a lot more or a lot less condensed in the mix. It's quite quite simple but really effective. It's just like pads, a few little high high-end synths, really emotive, really smooth, really nice groove. That's my favourite track on here. There's like a more garagey or like bouncy Italo track as the main track and there is a horrific 90s techno acid thing, acid mix of the track as well on the end which I wouldn't really recommend but it's there. Um, Italo again, got Montego Bay Saturday night. This is on Calypso Records. They, Calypso Records were quite a popular Italo disco label in the 90s. We've heard the tune Alone by Don Carlos, which calms tracks and Young Marco play a lot. Same sort of vibe really as the last one, like dreamy, organ driven house. And yeah, there's a few mixes on here. I'll probably upload something from here soon, but a lot of people wear Calypso Records for Italo. If you're not, then have a dig through. You might buy something nice. Um, Italo, Italo, Italo. I think we're out of Italo. Next up, we've got System Exclusive with the Miami EP. System Exclusive, I've tried to find some information on them, but can't really find anything on the internet. They had two releases this Miami EP, there's another EP called the New York EP, which is already online. And that, they're both just kind of filter house. And it's like, you can tell it's early 2000s UK, like house disco music because I kind of noticed in that sort of time frame like the edits that they made were quite quite aggressive the drums are quite hard but um, the A side of this it doesn't really matter it's just a strong disco edit you know what I mean like if you ever dig through like that sort of era house and disco that sort of time house and disco you can find some good stuff this only cost a quid you don't have to pay like 40 quid for techno disco too because there's Fuck loads of cool disco edits coming out in the UK that sort of time. That's definitely one that's gonna stick in my bag for a while. T Stockley, I will always love you. Eddie Stockley, sorry. Just a um, yeah, like a garage house remix of a R&B song. I might rip it up if it's not on YouTube already. There's an acid remix on the other side. It's butters. Not much to say about that record. Testing. This record. This record I bought completely blind. This is the only record on the label testing. There's literally no information about this record anywhere. I emailed the email address here and I got an email straight back saying it was out of use. So I don't know who these people are, where they came from. It's like break B, speed garage, weird like mix of that. And I mean the B side, good news boppers, is alright. The A side is just like some weird dancehall bass line over a break beat. Or like, like garage sims. It's not really that good. But yeah, good news boppers is like driving break beat. <clears throat> good news boppers is like driving break beat. It's pretty sick, I'll upload that one too. This one here, got 20 fingers. Volume 1, it's called 20 Fingers, we're like a production group coming out of Chicago. If you listen to this straight away, you can tell real hard hitting jacking drums, some nice smooth edits there. The main track on here, Short Dick Man, it's fucking awful, it's terrible. It sounds like something that would be in the house party scene and skins, but the rest of it's quite cool. It's on the edge of like ghetto house, it's like 120 
like the slow traps are 124, 125, there's like one that's 130, one that's 127. And yeah, it's like even the content is like the edge of like dirty ghetto music. The last track's called Putang in a Mo. Put tongue in her mouth basically. Brackets, your mum is a whore. Yeah, it's just fun, like bouncy Chicago house. Like close to ghetto, not quite there. It's pretty sick. I bought this one record that I was really excited to get. It's called um, What's Going On by Wiki. So, got my order in, all arrived at my flat, put this record on, and it wasn't what I was expecting. I can't really explain it any better. You know what we should do? Alright, let's take a step into my office because I can't really explain it. So, yeah. Fuck. Like I said, I was expecting a garage record, and this is what came. Alright, anyway, um, that's everything that I've got on this order so far that's worth talking about. Um, I'm going to rip up a lot of this stuff, already ripped up a lot of this stuff, it's going to go up on the channel in the next couple of days. But, if you wanted to uh, talk about a record you just bought or you really like and you want to go up on the channel, I was thinking, if a few people want to do that, maybe like five or six, I'll do a video of like, you know, DPM fans picks. Just give me a shout, just post something in the uh, DPM Facebook group and see if we can put that together. But for now, yeah, cheers for tuning in once again. Please allow my terrible manner in front of the camera. I'm not used to talking to a camera, but I'm going to try and do it a little bit more these days. And take care. Hope you find some tunes that you like out of this. And thank you for listening.